Hello, fourth graders. So today I'm going to teach you how to draw a Keith Haring figure. Now there are two ways you can do this. I'm going to show you both. Ideally, you would want to have for this project three figures. If you're a virtual learner at home, you can use whatever paper you have available. If you have paper that I gave you, it's pretty skinny and it's long. So if you have something like that, that's great. If not, you can organize your figures on your paper however you would like. But I took my paper and I folded it into thirds. So I overlapped one side and pressed it on the other and creased it down. So now I have three boxes where I can draw three different Keith Haring people. So, I'm going to start by showing you the easiest way to do it. Before you watch this video, you should make sure you looked through some of Keith Haring's work by either watching the video of me presenting our PowerPoint or going through the PowerPoint on your own. So, one way you can do it is by simply making a stick figure and then tracing around it. You also want to make sure that you're adding in those expression and movement lines. So this, I'm gonna move this down so you can see it really well, is how I would do it using a stick figure. I would start with my head and you can make your stick figure in whatever position you want your Keith Haring person to be in. So of course you need to also look at a Keith Haring figure so you know how to do this. But see, I started with a simple stick figure and now I can trace around it. And that will give me one way. I'm also adding feet in to make a Keith Haring person. At the end, of course, I'm going to want to erase the insides and see what I'm left with. Another way you can do it is by just using your eyes and looking. Drawing is all about looking and training your eyes to really see what you are drawing. So for this next Keith Haring figure I'm going to draw, I have a picture from the slideshow that I'm going to be copying. When I draw pictures, I'm constantly talking to myself to see where I am in the picture. So here we go. I'm looking at an image and I'm looking at the shape of this head. This head is kind of round, but it doesn't make a full circle. Then the arm in the picture I'm looking up goes straight up. There's a little loop and a hand and it goes, this is a long line. This must be the side of my person. Oh, and it curves in so I can draw the leg down. So the more you practice art and the more you practice looking, the better you become at drawing what you see. This may take you a few tries and that's okay. We don't get anything the first time. And remember, draw light so you can erase. But I wanna make sure I put in those expression and movement lines. So those are the two ways you can draw a herring. You can use a, the stick figure method, or you can study what you're looking at and try to recreate it. In the next video, we're going to talk about adding color so that we can have a final result. Now remember, draw light so you can erase and take turns. Take you know, if you need to practice first, you can have a sloppy copy 
and then do a final copy as well. Please email me if you have any questions or any problems. I will make another video next week where we add all those bright colors and those bold outlines, just like Keith Haring.